What's going on? So sitting in traffic is always a perfect time to make a video, I guess. So uh, there's another one that I've been wanting to make for a while. I was listening to a uh, personal training podcast the other day that I listen to pretty frequently. And they were talking about a subject that kind of parallels something that I've been thinking about for a while. And um, so the way they were presenting it, they were talking about habits and boundaries and like kind of in particular eating habits um you know because it was a personal training thing and this guy was talking about how he you know you grow up in a family and things are a certain way different families do things differently they have different boundaries and different habits and he was talking about how long it took once he got married and had his own family um he was talking about how long it took to kind of undo some of those unhealthy, um, I don't know, abnormal and like unique kind of habits that he grew up with. And yeah, it was, it was an awesome point. And, um, so I guess the subject of my video today is how do you undo, you know, habits and dysfunction is more what I want to talk about, um, kind of like severe, just generational dysfunction. How do you undo that when you're still surrounded by the dysfunction? And I like analogies, so I kind of, it makes sense to me to compare it to, like, you're in a river with a really strong current and you're getting you're getting pushed in the opposite direction that you want to go um, now there's some branches there's some rocks you can swim really really hard you can you can swim hard enough to slowly go in that right direction but if you lose if you lose sight of your goal if you lose concentration if you get lazy if you get complacent immediately you're going to start going back in that other direction that you're trying to get away from and um yeah we're we're all products of our environment and we're all products of the the time and place that that we grew up and um It's, it's hard to change your habits when you're still stuck in the environment that caused you to learn and become comfortable with those habits. Um, and in my situation, I'm, I've become pretty dedicated to not wanting to pass on. Uh, honestly, this is really what kind of inspired me to see how dysfunctional things were and um, it kind of gave me the motivation to want to change it. I desperately do not want to pass on this generational dysfunction to my son. Um, he did nothing to, I'm not saying like that people haven't had worse lives than me, but I don't want him to have the same problems, I don't want him to go through the same things that I do, that I did, and, uh, I see myself just, like, my dad kept me alive, he didn't raise me, um, there's a pretty big difference between the two, and when I started noticing the parallels between how my dad and I treat my son sometimes, I mean, I'm a lot different than him, but there are a lot of similarities at the same time, um, I was like, no, 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 this is not, this is not how this is going to go down, this is not how, um, I'm going to raise, quote, unquote, this, this child, but, um, now, obviously, I've, I've gotten past the whole addiction thing 
for the most part, I mean, I still do a few legal substances, maybe a little bit more often than I should, although the Kratom thing has a lot to do with my, uh, my back arthritis, which can be sort of bad sometimes, but, um, I played college sports, um, I, I'm really good at torturing myself in the gym to try to make progress, but this process of trying to change the way I parent and also change my son's behavior because he's started to fall into some behavioral patterns that are less than ideal and I can I can try to change I know I can change myself but changing a five-year-old adds a whole nother level of difficulty to this situation um so yeah, that's that's what I mean by breaking the cycle of generational dysfunction. You can change yourself, but goddamn, changing changing a child once he's already fallen into some of that dysfunction um, is the hardest, most frustrating thing that I've encountered so far. Um, and then I mean throw into that not that I'm not really trying to fish for sympathy here but throw um, you know desperately trying to achieve some semblance of financial independence and um, it's like playing a video game on like super super very ultra hard mode and um there's no, you know, there's no pause button, there's no redos, um, yeah, so, uh, in case anybody's struggling with something similar, uh, I guess the easiest way to make progress and what I try to do is to look and observe look to and observe other people, uh, like, (laughs) even just, like, seeing other families, other parents with their children in public, um, and you, you try to observe, like, what's normal, what's a normal way to just do things, you know, whether it's discipline, whether it's anything, um, seeing how people interact with their kid, um, seeing how other people are, it's like you learn a lot of really, really crazy habits and tendencies and behaviors when, one, when, when you've been a drug addict on and off for a long time and when you've grown up in this cycle of dysfunction, um, you know, my mom died when I was younger, and then my dad was there, but didn't really, like, do too much, aside from make money, and, um, it's like, it's like, it's almost like growing up in the wild, and, um, then you have to, like, reassimilate yourself to society once you realize what's happened, um, and at my age, like, what the fuck, <laughs> uh, it, it's pretty hard, but, um, Yeah, again, uh, I guess it's kind of, I've talked about this before, it's kind of the same concept as, you know, the 12 steps. I mean, I think it's one of the reasons why it works for a lot of people. I've also mentioned that it's, I don't think it's for me, but um, it's, it's, it's a tool for like reassimilating yourself into society and learning how to act and, and behave and be somewhat normal and productive, quote unquote, um, you know, but I think there's multiple ways to do that, but anyway, this video is getting long, let's try to keep it under 10 minutes, so, uh, I hope this helps somebody, I'll catch you guys on the next one.